Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson here with me, Anna English, here on English Like a Native. Today we're going to be learning about drinks, but because it's such a, a huge subject, we're actually going to be looking specifically at how to order a drink and how to offer a drink. Perhaps you work as a waiter or waitress or in some form of hospitality, like in a hotel or a restaurant, in a bar or cafe. Or perhaps you just want to know how to be polite when you have visitors or when you're visiting somebody and you need something to drink because you're very thirsty. Now, another word for thirsty is to say that you are parched. I quite like this word, I'm parched. Oh, can I have a glass of water, please? I'm parched. Now, I must apologise if my voice sounds a little bit crackly at any point. I do have a very sore throat today, so I do apologise about that. I will try to speak up and stay loud and clear for you during this lesson, but if it wobbles a little bit, then please forgive me. It's lovely to see all of you here. As you know, I have done some notes, I always do, and so without further ado, I'm going to jump straight in and start the lesson. I imagine we'll be here for at least half an hour, so make yourself comfortable. So here we go. Drinks. Can I just say that drinks are also sometimes referred to as beverage. Beverages. So a drink or a beverage, or drinks, plural, beverages, plural, means exactly the same thing. So, when you are asking for or ordering a drink, these are the different ways we can ask for one. We could say, could I have something to drink, please? Could I have something to drink, please? Or can I have something to drink, please? Or may I have something to drink, please? Now, people often ask me, what is the difference between could, can, and may? Well, Let's put it very, very simply. Can is just a very basic form of asking a question. Can I have something to drink, please? Could sounds a little bit more polite. Could I have something to drink, please? And may I is very polite. So it runs on a scale. Can I? Could I? May I? So it's a scale of politeness, although it's just simply asking the question can I, could I, may I, it all seems polite to me. But if you want to be super polite, then you might say, may I have something to drink, please? Um, so that would be a sentence you would use if you were visiting a friend or you were in somebody's house, perhaps. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use that sentence in a restaurant or in a bar because of course I can have something to drink, I just need to order it. So if I was in a bar or restaurant, I would change the question to, um, can I order a drink, please? Can I, could I, or may I, all can be used as well. May I order a drink, please? Could I order a drink, please? May I order a drink, please? So you can say any of those if you are buying the drink, okay? So, Another thing we could say is get a drink or get something to drink. Instead of using have, we can say get. Uh, can I get a drink, please? Can I get a drink, please? Could I, may I? All these can be used again. Now, I only include this sentence because many natives use the verb get. Can I get a drink, please? Um, I'm just going to get a drink. You might say to your friends if you are in a restaurant and they say, where are you going? And you say, I'm just going to get a drink. Or perhaps you're sat at the dinner table in your house. You have friends for dinner or family for dinner and you stand up and you go to walk away and your mother says, ha, where are you going? You say, I'm, I'm just going to get a drink. I'll be back in a moment. So we use the word get quite often. All right. So what else do we have? You could just simply say, I would like a drink, or I would like a, and you can be very specific here, I would like a, a beer, please, or I would like 
a glass of wine, please. Or I would like a cocktail, please. Or I'd like a cup of tea, please. You could also use the word want instead of would like. I want a beer, please. Of course, you see here I've put please at the end of every sentence. As you know, or I may have mentioned this before, the British like to use polite words regularly, sometimes too much. So we say please and thank you a lot. Um, so we tend to include it in most questions, especially when we're asking for something. Please, 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 and lots of thank yous. Um, so would I would like is more polite. I would like a cup of tea, please. Um, but as long as you say I want in a nice way, then that can be deemed as polite as well. It's all in the delivery. Um, I, I want a cup of tea, if that's all right. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so I would like and I want. Let's move on. If you are in a bar or a restaurant or in someone's house, you may not necessarily know what's on offer. Of course, sometimes you're at the bar and you can see what drinks there are, but not always. And if you're at someone's house and they say, would you like a drink? We're like, well, yes, but I don't know what you have, so I don't know what to say. Um, so you could just simply ask. You could say, do you have, if you, if you fancy something specific, you could say, do you have tea? Do you have coffee? Do you have lemonade? Or do you have um, Coca-Cola by any chance? Do you have beer? I really fancy a cold beer. Or do you have red wine? I'd love some red wine. Okay. Um, and just in case you're wondering, we do say fancy quite a lot when we're talking about our desire for food and drink. I really fancy a salad, or I really fancy a burger. I really fancy a glass of wine. Sometimes we even say the sentence, I could, I could kill a burger right now. I could murder a burger right now. It's strange, right? I could murder a burger. Can you imagine someone taking a knife and stabbing a burger? <laughs> That's obviously not what we mean. We want to take a burger and devour it. Um, but yes, we use that sentence when we're very hungry. I could murder a glass of wine right now. It means I really, really want a glass of wine. Or I could murder a burger. I really, really want a burger. Okay. Some of the strange things we say. I don't even realise they're strange until I talk to you about it. Okay, so, like I said, you can simply ask, do you have? Do you have this? All right, while I'm going to, um, before I move on, I'm going to say a very quick hello to my patrons. Hello, patrons. Um, hello, Calvin. Hello, Eric. Eric says, you look great today, just like a chess black queen. Oh, thank you very much. Do you play chess, Eric? I'm quite a, a keen chess player myself. And hello to everyone in the YouTube chat room. There's 169 of you. Hello. Where in the world are you watching from? In London right now, it's grey and it's miserable. Probably why I got a little bit of a cold. Um, wonderful. I've got people from all over the world. Tell me in your country, what is your favourite drink and what is your nation's favourite drink? In England, of course, we're quite famous for liking our tea. We like our tea in a very specific way. Hot, of course, um, with milk, with cow's milk and um, sometimes with sugar. I don't take sugar though. I'm sweet enough. <laughs> It's what I say when anyone asks if I take sugar in my tea, I say, no, I'm sweet enough. Um, okay, so tell me, what's your favourite drink, your drink of choice, and what is your nation's favourite drink in general? What's your country known for? Uh, in Brazil, it's beer, I'm told. Um, a couple of you are saying beer. Um, Amin says tea, but what country are we talking about here? Um, all right, I'm going to carry on while you guys are letting me know about your nation's drinks. So another way you can ask for a drink to find out what's on offer, you could say, what soft drinks do you have? Or what alcoholic drinks do you have? 
You could simply say, what kind of drinks do you have? What kind of soft drinks do you have? Or what kind of beers do you have? What kind of alcoholic drinks do you have? You could say straight away, is there any wine? Is there any orange juice? Is there any beer? Is there any gin? Okay, so moving on to offering a drink. Over here, I'm sure it's the same in most countries, but over here, if somebody comes to your house, um, whether they are there to work or whether they're there to uh, visit, it's usually polite to offer them a drink. So today I had a serviceman come to my house. He was an electrician and he came to fix something in my flat. And he was here for about half an hour. And the first thing I did when he came in was I offered him a drink. That tends to be the expected way of things here. I always will offer somebody working in my house, I will always offer them a drink. Say, hello, how are you? Come in this is what I want you to do while you're doing that, while you're getting started. Would you like a glass of water? Would you like a cup of tea? Can I get you anything? Is normally what I would say. And they normally have water or tea or sometimes coffee. So offering a drink, you can say the following. Could I, can I, or may I get you something to drink? Or could I, can I, may I get you a drink. Get you a drink. Could I get you a drink? May I get you a drink? Uh, can I get you something to drink? So there's a number of ways you can ask whether they want something. You could say, would you like a drink? Would you like something to drink? Would you like something to drink? Or would you like a drink? You could say, what would you like to drink? So in that case, you're assuming they want to drink. So perhaps if you work in a bar and you walk up to somebody who is standing expectantly at the bar, obviously they want to order a drink. So probably what you'd say to them is, what would you like to drink? It's usually a good way to greet someone if you work behind a bar. What can I get you to drink? Or if you're a waiter in a, in a restaurant, you normally get them drinks first when they first sit down while they're looking at the menu. So you go over and say, would you like to order a drink? Or would you like a drink? Or what would you like to drink? Okay. Do we have anyone here who actually works in hospitality? If you do, let me know. Say I'm a waiter, I'm, I work in a bar, or I work in a hotel. Do let me know. Um, oh, Leandro, thank you so much. That was very sweet. So Leandro has just dropped a super chat. Thank you so much. As you know, super chats all go towards helping the growth of this channel. It all goes into a little pot and all the money is saved up and goes towards things like paying for my internet, which now you see I've got much higher quality internet so I can bring you better lessons. It goes towards paying for things like microphones. I do need a better one, but this has been a good addition. Um, for lighting, that kind of thing. So thank you very much. And you said, nice to see you again. Good sound today, you got a microphone. Yes, I did. Um, this one is just a cheap one, but it's better than what I had before. So I am much, much happier with it, and I hope you are too. So thank you for that donation. And don't forget, anyone who donates is entitled to the notes that I've written. So do let me know which notes you'd like. All right, let's see what nation's drinks we have over here. We have, um, in India, it's tea, coffee, and lemon juice. Do you call your lemon juice lemonade? Or is it just like water with lemon? Or is it lemon cordial? Um, some of you just love smoothies. In Vietnam, it's coffee. Coffee is the drink. Um, in Italy, is um, Italy, Elena loves fresh orange juice. I love fresh orange juice in the morning too. Um, in Jordan, we have tea with mint and mint or sage. Ooh. Tea with mint or sage, that's interesting. I'll have to try that one. In Sudan, it's tea. Okay, and lots here, lots, lots and lots and lots of you have been commenting. Um, Dave loves beer and hurricanes and also fireball whiskey. <laughs> wow, that sounds like a very hot drink. <laughs> okay, let's keep moving on with the notes. So, 
um, we have would you like and you can be very specific with someone perhaps if you're hosting a party and you have beer and wine you could say would you like a glass of wine or a beer so you can be very specific and just say would you like and then say what it is that you have and Julia has also dropped a super chat thank you so much lots of love to you Julia you're always such a wonderful support thank you so would you like a gin and tonic would you like a Pims and lemonade? I have a whole jug of Pims. Would you like some? You could, if you have wine, you could offer red or white. So if somebody comes up to you in a, a restaurant or at a function, at a party and says red or white, what they mean is, would you like red wine or would you like white wine? Red or white, you choose. And what do you prefer? Do you prefer red or do you prefer white? I'm a red wine lover, I have to say. Um, I don't drink very much or very often, but when I do, I would prefer red wine. And they do say that red wine is good for you. Well, kind of, I guess it's, it's like fruit. It's grapes, right? So <laughs> it's like one of your five a day. Um, so once you've found out what drink they want you may want to, depending on the drink you may want to offer additional things with their drink so for example if it's a hot day and they've ordered a coca-cola or maybe they've just ordered water you might say would you like ice with that would you like ice and lemon with your gin and tonic do you have lemon with a gin and tonic i don't know but if a drink would potentially come with an extra then once they've ordered it you said would you like ice? Would you like lemon with that? Some people um, take their tea in a certain way. And notice the verb that I use there. I say take. Um, so here, this is very specific for tea. How do you take that? Or coffee even. If I say, can I have a coffee or can I have a tea? I would say to you, how do you take that? How do you take your coffee? How do you take your tea and it basically just means how do you like it do you like it strong if we're talking about tea and coffee do you like it strong do you like um do you like milk with it would you like honey in your tea would you like sugar in your tea so how do you take it and in response you'd say um white we always say white rather than with milk you'd say white no sugar or white one sugar or white five sugars <laughs> hopefully not that would be very bad for your teeth and your body I imagine um, okay so how do you take it you could simply ask do you take milk and sugar that's what I said to the man that came round today the electrician he said he wanted tea and I said would you like do you take milk and sugar and he said um, I do take milk but no sugar thank you I was like okay and I made him the best cup of tea he's ever had. So yes, if you have no milk, uh, then we call it a black tea. A black tea or a black coffee. So white or black. Okay, let's carry on down. So, the types of drinks that we would talk about. We would mention soft drinks. So if you talk about soft drinks, you're talking about drinks that do not contain alcohol so not containing alcohol okay soft drinks for example a soft drink would be coca-cola lemonade water mm, no water's not it is a soft drink but i wouldn't think of it under the banner of soft drinks um we would talk about perhaps like dr pepper uh what other soft drinks fanta um dandelion and burdock some very strange drink names, tangos. Um, I can't think of any others, diet Coke, diet lemonade. All right, so soft drinks. Some of those would also come under fizzy drinks. So if it has fizz, if it has a gas to it, then we call it a fizzy drink. So a soft drink can be a fizzy drink, like Coca-Cola, for example. But a soft drink can also be a juice, a juice. And a juice is, it's the juice squeezed from a fruit or a vegetable, like, for example, orange juice, apple juice, cranberry juice. All right. 
it's not a cordial. A cordial you mix with water. Juice is the juice and only the juice from the fruit or the vegetable, okay? What else do we have? We have, um, actually, before I go further, I'm gonna mention smoothie. Oh, there we go, I must spell that. A smoothie is a mixture of juice. And I do like a smoothie in the morning, but they are very high in calories. So I try not to drink too many smoothies, but I do enjoy a good smoothie. All right, so if you go into a cafe or a bar, then they might say we offer hot and cold beverages. And I think it's very clear that a hot drink is a tea or a coffee or even a hot chocolate. Mm, I love a good hot chocolate on a cold winter's day. Um, or um, a cold drink, which of course is any beverage that is cold. Uh, they might offer alcohol or we could refer to it as, as an alcoholic drink. So you could say, do you serve alcohol or do you serve alcoholic drinks? And they'd say, yes, we do. More specifically, you might talk about spirits. A spirit is the very, very alcoholic um, drink like vodka, gin, whiskey, brandy. Okay, so spirits. You would definitely hear in a lot of bars the word cocktail. A cocktail is a mixed drink. It's a mixture of alcohol and soft drinks. So it might be like vodka, orange and cranberry juice, or rum, vodka and coke. I think that's called a black Russian, uh, a cocktail. They always have funny names. So, um, so yes. A cocktail is a mixture of drinks with very unusual names usually. You might hear about a mocktail. A mocktail. A mocktail is like a cocktail but with no alcohol in it. All right, so if you are driving or if you are underage or if you just don't fancy drinking alcohol, which is absolutely fine. I sometimes just have a, co a mocktail because I don't want to drink. And a mocktail is, like I said, a soft cocktail. Oh wow, Reggie, thank you so much. You've just sent over a, a two pound super chat. Bless you, thank you. Um, Reggie, I don't think you've ever contributed before, so thank you. And if you would like um, the notes as a thank you for your super chat or the notes from any other lesson, then you are more than welcome. Just drop me an email. My email address is at the bottom of the description of this video and um, Probably not today because I'm rushing out after this lesson, but at some point over the weekend I will send you whichever notes it is that you ask for. All right, thank you so much. Okay, so a mocktail or a cocktail, which do you prefer? A mocktail or a cocktail? And will you be having a mocktail or a cocktail this weekend? I certainly won't, not with my sore throat. I think orange juice is a good way forward for me. <laughs> okay, let's have a look what else we have. Some drinks are referred to as caffeinated. Caffeinated, let me pronounce that for you nice and clearly. Caffeinated, caffeinated. Caffeinated are, uh, is a drink that contains caffeine. Uh, caffeinated drinks include tea, coffee, and um, things like Coca-Cola also have caffeine. Caffeine wakes you up. You do not want to drink caffeinated drinks when you're trying to sleep. Green tea, for example, also has caffeine in it. So we also, if we have caffeinated drinks, you'll hear about decaffeinated drinks and decaffeinated is normally shortened to decaf. So if you're working in a bar or restaurant and someone says, do you have decaf tea? Or if you say, would you like a coffee after your meal? They might say, do you have decaf? So they're just asking if you have the special coffee that has the caffeine removed. So decaffeinated, decaf. Okay, so um, my patrons are very quiet today. I don't think I have, I think many of my patrons are probably out partying <laughs> on a Friday night because they're normally a lot more talkative than this in the Skype room. Um, one of you, Maureen, is asking, how can you be in the Skype room? The Skype room, this one here, 
is for patrons only. It's kind of like a perk, so the patrons have their comments always seen and answered. Patrons are um, special supporters of the community. They give monthly contributions to the channel, whether they're big or small, they just want to help the channel to grow. And so um, on behalf of everybody, they make a small contribution and you're more than welcome to join the team. There are rewards for patrons, of course, besides just the Skype room, there are other rewards available and all the details from that can be found via the link in the description. Okay, let's carry on. We're nearly there. We're nearly at the end. And by the way, if you're new here, hello, I'm really happy that you're here. If you're here and you learn English, then please do press subscribe and the bell notification button so you don't miss any future lessons because I try to release as many videos as I can and go live as regularly as I can. So if you don't want to miss out, um, and I would love for you to join us on a regular basis, then do press subscribe. All right, let's carry on. So, you would also, particularly in a restaurant, you would also have bottled water offered to you. And if, if a waiter comes over and says, would you like water? You say, yes, please. They'd say, still or sparkling? So, still water, obviously, is flat water with no gas. If you're Spanish, then it'd be con gas. Con gas or um, uh, sin gas, sorry. Sin gas would be still. And with, with gas... If you want it sparkling or fizzy, then it would be con gas. So sin gas and con gas in Spanish, but in English we just say still or sparkling. Still or sparkling, okay? Most of the time in the UK, if you're a waiter and you've asked someone if they want water, they'll usually ask for tap water. and say, yeah, can I just have some tap water, please? That means they don't want to pay for water could you go with a jug to the tap and fill it up from the tap and get their water for free? Which is generally what I do because I don't like to pay for a little glass of water with my, with my food. Uh, so there we go. Bottled water, still or sparkling, or tap water. So let's talk about measures. So when you are in a restaurant or anywhere where you would order a drink, when we're talking about things that come in a bottle, then you would say a bottle of, a bottle of. Now notice the pronunciation of this word and this word when we put it into a sentence. Here we don't say a or a, we normally say a, a, a bottle, a bottle. And this word rather than being of, normally becomes of, of. So we have a and of. A, of, a bottle of, a bottle of wine, a bottle of pop. A pop is another word. It's a quite an old-fashioned word now, actually. A bottle of pop is an old word for a fizzy drink like Coca-Cola. So you might say a bottle of Coke. A bottle of Coke. A bottle of Coke. I'd love a bottle of Coke. I'd love a bottle of Fanta. I could really murder a bottle of wine. <laughs> okay, so a bottle of. You also, for certain fizzy drinks, um, would get a can of, particularly things like beer, um, Coke, those kinds of things. So a can of. And the same rule applies. It would be a uh, and of. Can I have a can of Coke, please? A can of Coke. I would love a can of Fanta. And then we could ask for a cup of, this usually, this usually is regard with what we'd say if we're talking about tea, coffee, or hot chocolate. Tea, coffee, or hot chocolate. A cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a cup of hot chocolate. <laughs> Reggie, you just sent me another super chat. Thank you so much. And you've put a comment with this one, watching all your videos. Great work, thank you. Oh bless you, you're so sweet. Thank you, Reggie. That's really, really kind of you. Okay, so a cup of tea, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, a cup of coffee, or a cup of hot chocolate. Is there anything else you'd have in, in a cup? I guess you could have like a cup of green tea or a cup of herbal tea. Notice that we say herbal and not herbal. Americans say herbal, but in British English we aspirate the H, herbal, herbal, okay? 
Okay, so, um, Maureen, what are you saying? You're um, commenting lots here and you said, um, I've just discovered this channel and I love Anna's videos. They are very interesting and I can improve my English. Thank you, that's very kind of you. But how can I know the direct days? In terms of how often I come online, at the moment I'm aiming to be live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And I will release videos besides as well. I try to do as much as I can. Um, but my life is quite chaotic so I can't always guarantee exactly when it's going to be. The best thing you can do is follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. The links are in the description of this video and by doing that you'll have a clearer idea each day of when I'm likely to be live because I tend to post and let you know I'm going live. At the moment I've just moved house so life is a little bit chaotic so just bear with me. What normally happens then is I will generally put a schedule up on a Sunday to tell you when to expect my live videos in the following week. But I'll get there, I'll get organised and then you guys will know exactly when to expect me. Okay, sorry if it's a little chaotic at the moment, I'm doing my best. Okay, so a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, a cup of hot chocolate. Now we also in the UK offer teas in the pot. Um, mostly this is in restaurants, um, bars and hotels. Not all households have a pot of tea anymore. I don't have a teapot here. I used to have one, but I got rid of it because we rarely use it. Um, but if you go out to buy tea, they would normally say, would you like a mug or a cup of coffee or a cup of tea? Oh, sorry, tea, not coffee. Or would you like a pot of tea? Would you like a pot of tea? And normally in a pot of tea, you can get two or three cups of tea. So if there's a couple of you, you'd say we'd have a pot of tea between us, please. A pot of tea, I'll write that in actually, between us. A pot of tea between us is what you'd ask for. So um, you might order wine or beer or whatever it is you're asking for by the glass. So I'd like a glass of wine, please. I'd like a glass of white wine. Could I have a glass of Pinot Grigio? May I have a glass of Merlot? And if you're talking about size in specifically, you could say, I need a large glass of red wine. I would like a large Cabernet Sauvignon. I'd like a large glass of Cabernet Sauvignon, please, is what you could say. Um, Swavek, one of my patrons has said, um, is, it a pot, is it pot of tea? You need to say a ah, here. So you need the article a. Ah. Is it a pot of tea? Yes, this here is a pot. And there's your cup and saucer. The plate underneath the cup is called a saucer. So you have a pot of tea, a cup of tea, and a saucer, a cup and saucer. Brilliant, thank you for sharing that. Let's go back to those notes. So a glass of wine. If you're drinking um, a soft drink or a beer or an ale, or a cider, you might ask for a pint glass. The pint is particularly um, a, a particular size. For example, I think this glass is probably a pint. It doesn't have the measurement written on it, but this is a pint, a pint. I have a pint of water and you could ask for a pint of water. You could ask for a pint of beer. You could ask for a pint of Stella. You could be specific about the kind of lager or beer you want to drink. Could I have a pint of cider, please? Could I have a pint of lemonade? I tend to drink um, uh, uh, lime and soda is my drink of choice. So I just have soda water, which is carbonated water, fizzy water, and, um, and lime, either lime cordial or a squeeze of lime just to give it a little flavor. So lime and soda, I would call that. So a pint of, or if you only want a small one, you do half a pint of, and notice I'm saying of, as with all the other examples of, of, of half a pint of, half a pint of. Okay, so you could also say just some. Could I have some lemonade, please? Could I have some wine? Could I have some red wine? Could I have some orange juice, please? Okay. Now you could say, could I have a couple of, could I have a couple of beers? Could I have a couple of um, bottles of Stella? So depending on what you're ordering, you could say a couple of, a couple of. 
Uh, Sky is asking, what does cider mean? Cider is an alcoholic drink made from apples. It's an alcoholic drink made of apples. Okay. Lovely. So that's the end of what I'm actually teaching. But what I want from you is for you to give me some examples of drink names. So off you go. How many drinks can you name? So let me know. Just one worded answers. Give me drink names. And while I'm waiting for them to come through, um, I want to make sure that if you're here and you're enjoying this, then please do show your appreciation by giving me a thumb please. Um, what is the difference between a pot and a kettle? A pot doesn't heat up the water. A kettle has an electric element that heats up the water. A pot just holds the hot water. So once you've boiled the kettle, you pour it into the pot, you pour the hot water into the pot with the tea bags or with whatever you're doing. It might just be water. You leave it in the pot and then you pour that into the cup. So if you go to a restaurant, they would boil the water in the kitchen in a kettle, they would transfer it into a pot, and they bring the pot to the table, and then you can pour it into your cup. Okay, hope that answers your question clearly enough. Um, so some of you are asking about Facebook and Instagram. The, both of them are linked in the description of this video. Facebook is oh, something like speak English like a native and Instagram is confusing. It's called British English Pro. That's how you'll find me. Or just type in Anna English and you'll find me that way. Hopefully, I think. <gasps> okay, so have we got some alcohol names coming through, not alcohol, drink names. I don't know why I jumped at alcohol there. Great, we have. So David Cameron, sorry, Dave Cameron. Is hurricane a type of drink then? Because you've mentioned that twice. So, um, so I've got gin and tonic. Um, I've got lemonade is what you're suggesting. Lemonade. Uh, what else do we have coming through? Chleb, I've never heard of this. Frembichanu. I don't know this drink. Has anybody else heard of this? Tell me what this is. I'm going to show you the notes now so you can see what I'm writing. Um, if you're writing down cocktail names, then please say that it's a cocktail. Okay, so that I, so I can mention that it's a cocktail. Um, so beer, wine, tequila, sunrise. Um, I'm just going to put tequila for now because tequila is the main drink there. It's, tequila Sunrise is, um, forgive me if I'm wrong here, it's a cocktail, right? Is that right? I'm not a huge cocktail knowledge. I don't know <laughs> all the cocktail names. Um, Swavek in my Patreon group has said a white Russian. That is a cocktail. I know that one. A white Russian. That's um, a cocktail with rum base. Why am I writing rum? Um, Russian. Russian. And we also have a black Russian. I'm going to put this under the title cocktails. Um, is an apple martini. That's a cocktail, is it? Or is that just a type of martini? Someone please help me. Um, we also have, um, I should probably put these in different categories, shouldn't I? Let's put this up here. Soft drinks, lemonade. We also have Vimto. I love Vimto. Ooh, don't correct me. Vimto. Don't correct me. I don't want to be corrected. Stop it. There we go. Um, Vimto. Vimto. Uh, we have green tea. Great. We have coffee. And one of my favourites, actually, at the moment is iced coffee. I love iced coffee. Uh, what else do we have? Um... Nescafe is a brand of coffee. Um, uh, vodka. Yeah, we have vodka. Vodka. What else? Pims. Pims is a favourite summer drink over here in the UK. Um, oh, I'm not showing you these notes. You're looking at me. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't taking you over there. Um, we have a frappuccino. Oh, remind me what a frappuccino is. That's the fruity like a fruity drink isn't it a frappuccino they have them it's like a fruity you have it in starbucks or the coffee shops i can't remember what it's called 
an espresso. Espresso. Have I spelled that right? Hopefully. Is it, mm, no, that doesn't know the spelling. Uh, what else do we have? Oh gosh, so many, so many drinks being commented up here. We have normal tea, of course. Um, cappuccino. Cappuccino. Have I spelled that right? No, well, I've been corrected. There we go. Uh, what else? Any more? Any more for any more? Smoothies. Yes, smoothie. I've spelled that wrong again. Smoothie. Cold brew. Cold brew is like coffee, isn't it? Um, cold brew. A Bloody Mary. Yes, a Bloody Mary is a cocktail that involves um, tomato juice. Isn't that right? Oh, where's that gone? There we go. Let's put these ones up with the non-alcoholic drinks. A Bloody Mary is alcoholic, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, what else? What? A Turkish coffee? A Turkish coffee? Uh, let me put this up. You have, we In London, there are restaurants that offer Turkish coffee. Usually, um, usually Turkish restaurants, of course. What else do we have? Rum. Yes. Rum. Any more for any more. Uh, do we have green tea on the list? Yes, we do. Water, of course, water. Probably the best drink you can ever drink is water. Um, oh, coconut water, very, very popular here in London at the moment, and actually one of my favorites. There is a certain drink that we drink a lot here and it comes from a cow. What am I talking about? Of course, I'm talking about milk. And then there's lots of variations of milk over here at the moment, particularly in London. We have um, coconut milk, rice milk, almond milk, um, there are other milks I can't think of off the top of my head, but we drink a lot of milk here. Uh, la la la, orange aid, orange aid, yes. Let's put that on. Orange aid, is it like that? Orange aid, there we go. Um, an Irish coffee, interesting. An Irish coffee is coffee that has alcohol in it. So I'm gonna put that on the alcohol section. Um, oh, I need to put Bloody Mary in the cocktail list. Irish coffee. Let's move this. One to here. Um, oh, what else do we have? Orange juice. Have I got orange juice? No, let's stick orange juice on here. Orange juice. Um, oh gosh, lots of stuff coming through from my patrons. Cuba Libre. What is this? Is this a kind of cocktail? I'm going to assume it is. So I'll stick that one on the cocktail list. Um, I'm going to put a question mark by it though because I don't know it. So please tell me what that is. Compote. What is compote? I don't know one. This the one either. So please do enlighten me. Um, gra so okay. So Swavek is talking about coffee. Um, Swavek is actually a private student as well and we had a private lesson this morning we were talking about coffee. There are um, different coffees of course, like coffee can be a subject in itself. The subject of coffee is huge but um, you might ask, I tend to ask, if I'm in a restaurant and they say do you like coffee? Would you like coffee? I would say is it instant coffee or is it proper coffee is what I would say. Instant coffee is where you put granules in the cup and then you put the hot water in and the granules disappear. So you don't remove the granules, they just disappear. They, they dissolve into the water. That kind of coffee I don't like, but we call it instant coffee, instant coffee. Then there's the kind of coffee where the coffee beans have been ground down. You put the coffee and the water in and usually into a cafetiere, or there might be other ways of doing it, but usually into a cafetiere and then somehow, whether it's in a cafetiere or in some, some other instrument, you remove the ground coffee, you remove these granules out. 
and it just leaves the water, the flavoured water. And that's the kind of coffee I like with the bean, whether it's been ground or whether there's a machine that makes it with the beans. So ground coffee. Okay, guys, um, we could go on forever. Lots of you making lots of suggestions. Um, for those of you who have given a super chat contribution to the lesson, of course, you can add as many to the notes when I send you the notes as you wish to. Um, I am going to say goodbye because I am off to the theatre this evening. My friend is performing in a play in the theatre and I promised that I will go and visit and watch their performance, which is why um, some of you are saying you're wearing a nice top and it's because I'm going to the theatre. So um, I want to thank you so much for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Even though I've not felt very well, I've actually enjoyed teaching this lesson and being here with you today. If you did enjoy it and you did find it useful, I always appreciate a thumb. Um, if you are new here, make sure you have subscribed and do go and have a look at some of the other videos. There are over a hundred videos here now. I think we might be looking at close to 200 videos in fact. So please do take some time to look at the other lessons. I'm sure you'll find other things that are useful to you. And I'm always trying to grow this channel. We're nearly at 50,000 subscribers and I would love to reach that in a very short space of time. So if you know anyone who would find this useful, I would really appreciate you clicking that share button and sharing this with any of your friends. So thank you so much for joining me. All the links that you could possibly need to Instagram and Facebook are in the description box below. Um, I have also included a link to free taxi rides. So if you have not yet signed up for Uber, the app, the taxi app, and Uber is used in your country and you're going out drinking alcohol, then you can get a free ride by using that link if you are new to Uber. So do make sure you use that and do not drink and drive. It's very naughty. <laughs> but you don't need lectures from me on what to do in your life. I'm sure you all make very sensible choices. Okay guys, have an amazing weekend. I will be live again here on Monday. I very much look forward to seeing you there. Take care, have an amazing weekend. Lots of love from London. Mwah. Bye from me, bye from the bears. And I will see you very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.